Okay, I'm going to show you another example here. Um, let's say that this is my experimental data, and I think that um, the data fits a graph that is 1 over x plus 1 over y equals a, and it's the a value that I don't know, and that's the one that I want to estimate here. So, what I want to first show is that this is correct, and I can show that this is correct by plotting 1 over x by 1 over y and getting a straight line graph. Okay, so I've got my graph ready for me to plot that data. Because if I can rearrange that into 1 over y is equal to minus 1 over x plus a, then this is in the form of capital Y equals minus capital X plus A. So it looks like a linear graph with a gradient of minus 1 and going through A, uh, the Y intercept of A. So what I do is I'm going to build up a table of values, 1 over X and 1 over Y. Okay, so I'm going to start off by doing my 1 over x's, so I'm going to have 1 over 2, so 0.5, I'm going to go into decimals here, try to fit it in, uh, 1 over 5 is 0.2, then I'm going to have 1 over 10, so 0.1, then 1 over 12, uh, which is 0.083, I'll go to three uh, decimal places there, and 1 over 20 is 0.0. .0 5, and then I'm going to do 1 over y, so I'm going to do 1 over each of these, so 1 divided by 0 0.1053 is 9.496, so 9.497, I'm going to go to three decimal places, uh, then I've got 1 divided by 0 0.1020, which is 9 point eight zero four to three decimal places then one divided by naught point one zero one zero uh, which is nine point nine zero one to three decimal places then I've got this naught point one zero zero eight so one divided by that uh, is nine 0.921 and then 1 divided by 0 0.1005 is 9.950 okay so then I would plot this data okay so we have 0 0.5 9.497 so 0 0.5, 9 9.497, so roughly there. Obviously, if you, were, you had a nice, um, accurate graph, this would be a lot, a lot better. So 0 0.2, 9.804. So 0 0.2, 9.804. So I reckon it's just about there. And then 0 0.1, 9.901. 9.901, so probably about there. And then 0 0.083, 9.92, so it's probably just to the left of it, just above, so probably something like that. And then 0 0.05, 9 9.950, so that would be close to being up here somewhere. And then we can draw a nice straight line through what we have, or try to. Now it's not necessarily going to be perfect, but that's the whole point of this. Okay, so what we should be looking at is saying, well, our value of A then must be just over 10 or close to the 10 mark. Um, the gradient should be minus 1, so we can check that. Uh, if we choose two of the points, so let's say the first one and the last one, um, so the gradient of the line should be the difference in the y coordinates 
divided by the difference in the x coordinates, so 0 0.05 take away 0 0.5. So we try that in the calculator. 9.950 take away 9.497 divided by 0 0.05 take away 0 0.5. We get minus 1.006 recurring. So minus 1.006 recurring. So very close to the minus 1 that I was expecting here. And you can work out the value of A as I say by figuring where is it crossing the y-axis. Um, or you could plug this in, so say minus uh, y equals minus 1.006 recurring x plus c and then say to yourself right okay well if I plug in one of the values so let's try this one so we'd have 9.497 is equal to minus 1.00 I keep writing 6 when I mean 0 one minus 1 1.006 recurring times the 0 0.5 plus c. Really, I should have 1 over y and 1 over x here. Um, I'll replace them with capitals, I think. Easiest way to do it. So, figuring out what c would have to be, 9.497 plus that times by 0 0.5, um, I get a C of 8.99 on that one. Let me just try that again. Yeah, I think I've incorrectly put that in, 9.497 uh, plus 1.006 recurring times 0 0.5. Yeah, sorry, um, it's as close to 10 as you really like. C is 10.0003 recurring. So, yes, our value of A is approximately 10 as... and that's really what we wanted. So you can see that from the experimental data, if you have a concept of what the uh, linear law should be, or what the um, graph should be, then we can plot it, get ourselves a straight line graph, and then estimate the value of A. And that was what we really needed to do here.